Rated A for awesome. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Blake X Sniper. We're doing another q and I know you guys really enjoyed these types of videos So we got a decent amount of questions and I'm gonna try and speed through some of them and uh, I might go into detail in the other ones But let's get right into it right into the news. God the guy's a fucking gnome sometimes man I know it's drama, but come on Blake X Sniper favorite cod cod 4 mw2 ghosts Boom, next one. Are you ever going to get into vlogs? Yes, I'm gonna try and get a new camera so that I, I can show you guys my beautiful face in an HD or my manky ass face. Oh, yo, disclaimer. I, okay, in my last video I said, yo, if I'm wearing the same shirt, it's because I'm doing the videos in one sitting or in one night and I'll like post them throughout the week. Well, I ended up not sleeping. I'm pretty sure you can tell that my hair is at least a little bit different. I tried sleeping, I ended up rolling around. I was like, fuck! And then I ended up cleaning up my whole room. It looks good. I'm not gonna feel, I'm not gonna lie. You feel, I feel way more motivated when I have a clean room. That's just how, that's how I work. That's good stuff. Do you want to make a living of streaming? Yes, that would be so awesome to do what you really enjoy. Like something like your hobby that you could do full time. I'm very passionate with gaming. I'm into like gaming, martial arts, anime, mathematics. I know that I sound very Asian right now. I'm gonna stop talking. Gaming is something that's been a part of my life for a long, long time. And the fact that I can help charities or that I can help like the viewers, you guys, when you guys come in, you're like, hey, I'm, I'm, I've been having a really bad day. Thank you so much for like turning that around or just giving me an escape for like five minutes or like having somebody to talk to. Some people just want to be heard. So I appreciate that greatly that like I can make a difference and contribute back to a community and do something that I enjoy. Uh, now, am I going to rely on that? Absolutely not. Can't, I can't rely on streaming full-time whatsoever. That's why I work full-time. But I'm, I'm definitely going to do it as much as I possibly can. What is your record on game battles? What is the best thing you have ever done in a GB? Alright, uh... And I got a four-man A's and I just literally shit on their kids. What the fuck did I just say? Somewhere on the screen. I don't know. I almost said scream. There's gonna be an annotation, click on that, that's gonna bring you to a video, it's pretty just a four-man ace, I literally turned on this person and shat on their life. It was a really great GB moment, it was a four-man ace, almost a quad feed, and it, it, it was crazy. It was crazy. You guys gotta check it out if you don't want to, that's fine. How do you plan to differentiate yourself in the COD community moving towards the future? People are appreciative of the numbers, in the sense of like, oh, I thank you guys so much, where... I might get to that point down the road, but I'm still going to try and stay very grounded in the fact that I'm a person and that everybody in the stream is a single person that like needs to be somewhat heard. So people that do like sub only, I mean it's a channel, they can do whatever they want, but people that only do sub, sub only like join lobbies or things like that and never do open lobbies, I kind of, I'm like, I don't want to be like that. I think that's what's going to separate me from the rest of the people is that I'm actually going to kind of care about not the people that have the money or the things that I'm getting out of it, but just the like the appreciation of everybody that's there supporting me. Like I, I don't I don't want to just be money based, which a lot of streamers and a lot of content creators are kind of about now. I mean, I, not everybody, of course. And as I said, like you can't read every message. You can't, you know, talk to everybody singularly when there's thousands of people in your stream. It's just impossible. But I do want to give that more of an opportunity. I want to kind of outreach to people more. I think that's probably what's going to separate me. Maybe my mix between comedy or my per like my my terrible dad jokes and my sniping might make it too. What are your personal standards for sniping? Clip being usable or not? Mini Taj or montage? Okay, quad feed, unsplit, usable. Five ons, bangers. Uh, split quad feeds if they're multis or if they're really clean and they're only split by one I don't mind if they're five on screen in their split. That's fine, too. All right for youtubers for sure Swoozy I'm, look, I'm looking at my sub list right now. So I'm trying I usually try I'm gonna tr try and look at more at the camera, but I'm Canadian. I bob, bob I have a bobblehead kind of uh, And I'm looking at my subscription feed here. I'd say Swoozy for formal optic formal Homage, dirty, and basically like anybody like my friends like Punisher or Mr. Rookie Stevens, people that I know in real life that are also YouTubers that I, I've 
I mean, I try to watch all their videos to try and be supportive, but uh, I can only watch so much at the same time. Are you planning to build your own consistent grind squad? Yes! Me, Smokeless, Kid of Chaos, Gonza, and we're looking for a couple other people. What is the preferred order of purchasing equipment if you wanted to become a streamer on PS4 from the ground up? PS4, webcam, snowball mic. I'd say so. Like a Logitech C920 is like 50 bucks. Snowball is like 50 bucks. Get a PS4, you can stream on your PS4. Good internet, you need good internet. That's that's high up there too. Uh, what clan would you like to join and why? I wanted to join Red, I wanted to join Myth, I wanted to join Lucid, I wanted to join FaZe, and I wouldn't, be, wouldn't mind being a part of the Optic Host. I don't, I wouldn't want to be a part of Optic unless I was in the Optic Host, but that's because I think some of the people there would be cool as fuck to hang out with and make content with. Two teams that are way bigger than me that I think would be a great starter team would be Lucid and Myth. Uh, Black x who or what inspired you to start feeding? Not really anybody, but the people that are, have been... I've been recently following on YouTube would be Pomage and Phase Dirty. They both have, I don't know what it is, but they both have that really, really chill music. And I'll put it on like right, like now. It, it's just so fucking, it, it, it hits me, man. I, like it keeps me so motivated. I don't know what it is. Like they're not, they're not the ones who motivated me to start feeding, but like their music and their style of play is just like motivating now. And I, it just makes me want to like raise the standards or as he quotes, aim higher. What is your favorite N64 game? Man, this guy's like my childhood friend. That's crazy. Favorite N64 game? Probably Perfect Dark. Maybe Gauntlet Legends. Uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Holy shit. What game, what game did you have your biggest rage quit moment and why? I'll give you three. Uh, me versus AI. Last of Us. I, I spent fucking a half hour to two hours crawling through dirt, being all stealth, killing people. And the guy came up and fucking killed me one shot. I was like... I was pissed. I was I was fucking pissed. Destiny, there's lots of times I've legit just rage quitted out on on raid members that were completely fucking useless, and I'd start a new party with my crew of people, including the guy who commented on this, Joker, my Vegeta baby. I don't know where I'm going with that. He's my duo. That's it. That's that's the word. He's my duo. Third one. PvP would most likely be COD. I, I've, I've, when I was in high school, man, and when I was in middle school, high school, and I was playing COD, I had hormones. I didn't, I couldn't fucking control myself. Hey, Barker! Fucking Border Dog! And just freaking right trope. All right, so how many Pokemon have I caught this far? I've caught 95, but seen 96. Those damn chancy mankeys, dude. Benefits of playing claw. All right, on the, the back ones. Well, it's basically, you're just flipping your hand a little bit forward. So that your middle finger is on your R1 and then the rest of your pointer finger can hit triangle, circle, X, or square, or whatever the Xbox fucking buttons are. The benefits of fingers, man. The benefits of fingers. That came out wrong. How many calories does playing COD burn an hour? It's just like the same as sex. It just depends on how loud you're screaming. I need to get out more. Holy fucking shit. Were you just born sexy? It's funny. I kind of had a story. Well, I'm just gonna straight up say yes, but no, not really. Uh, I had a story where uh, my voice is a little bit deeper. Like you kind of see that I ha kind of have a baby face going on because I don't do drugs or smoke or do anything except for maybe drink. We were playing Black Ops 2, I believe it was, and the the joke was this guy who was like 30 years old sounded like he was 12, and at the time I think I was like 17 or 18 or something along those lines. Damn, Wasp sounds like he's a 12 year old kid, and Sniper, he sounds like he had a 12 year old kid. And like, that was just like the ongoing thing that I came out of the womb with fucking pubic hair and shit. Cause I just sound like, like a fucking beast. I don't fucking know. I don't know what it is specifically, but apparently my voice is fucking baller. Maybe it's all the screaming of Call of Duty. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably the screaming of all of Call of Duty. What is your all time favorite gaming moment? Two really good moments that I can really just think of would most likely be when I hit 1k on Twitch that was such a huge milestone for me hitting 1k is the hardest thing to ever do and the fact that I hit 1k in less than a year and we're almost already at two means that like that growth snowballs and hitting 1k is, is such was such an amazing feeling I can't it's like being on a drug when I hit gold in League of Legends that felt amazing I won my first tournament in game battles that was another amazing feeling 
for all you PC gamers who remembers the Fally 666 moment that was kind of that's kind of memorable why did you choose PlayStation instead of Xbox all right roll well, not that one boom PlayStation boom Xbox PC I think even won't know this way this way uh, Nintendo right like you can't you can't get mad at me now but there's no way I was gonna be able to afford my own subscription base every year that noise I was like grade 8 what is that like 2008 that's a little itty bitty sniper that is fuck that noise how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood I don't know I'm gonna have to fucking go that shit About 700 pounds. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Next Thursday, we'll be doing our next one. So follow me on Twitter and at me for the next one. I'll probably be posting on Facebook again around Wednesday or Thursday morning like I did. But hopefully I get more sleep next time. And YouTube, you're fucking beautiful. <laughs>